Aztec rose up against the Spaniards who were staying in the city, there was only one escape route. It was this, the Tacuba Causeway that crosses along Lake Texcoco. Today, that street runs through the middle of Mexico City. spot of the palace of Oxiaca. It is here where the Spaniards were kept by Moctezuma. Interestingly, this building is next to what was Moctezuma's zoo complex. And in particular, he put the Spaniards next to his house of unusual humans, which gives you an indication of what he thought of these beings. When the Aztec rose up against the Spaniards, Cortez fled from this spot along the Causeway. So let's retrace that route. It was the middle of the night. It was raining. The Spaniards had come to the edge of Tenochtitlan. They thought they had a good shot at getting out of the city intact. What they didn't realize was that the Aztec had them under observation this entire time. According to legend, a local woman had stepped out of her house to get some water, saw the Spaniards, and raised an alarm. The truth of the matter is that the Aztec generals had allowed the Spaniards to get this far. They wanted to trap them while they were on the causeway and then attack. a much better strategy to kill them while they were on the bridge where they couldn't escape. Weighted down, the Spaniards were weighted down with stolen gold. From here on, it would be a continuous battle for the rest of the trip. was the island of Matzatzin Camalco. This is about halfway between Tenochtitlan and Tacuba. Up to this point, the Spaniards have been fighting yard by bloody yard. Half of their men already had been killed. Some of them, who had just slipped off the causeway, immediately sank because their pockets were filled with stolen gold. On this island, they had a chance to assess their situation. It seemed dire. The attack from the Aztecs was coming primarily from canoes. They had only gotten halfway out of the city. There was still a long ways to go and much fighting to be done. fighting along the causeway, constantly being showered by arrows, hand-to-hand -hand combat, merciless, no quarter given. The Aztec warriors at this point are not fighting to wound or maim or capture to take back their sacrifice, they're fighting to kill. I can't begin to imagine the intensity of the battle. But Cortez cannot stop here at the shore. He's still being showered by arrows from canoes. There's flanking maneuvers being done. He has to move his army a little bit further inland, which is where we're headed next. We're just a little ways from the shoreline of Lake Texcoco. 50,000 Aztec warriors had expelled the Spaniards from Tenochtitlan. It was said on this very spot, Cortez sat and wept. For the Aztec, this was called the Night of Victory. For the Spaniards, it would become known as the Sad Night.
right, we're about halfway through our journey, and here are our companions on this trek. Hi, I'm Rodrigo Morfin from the Yuxtap Interactive Maps. <laughs> I'm Lux, musician, and don't forget to hear my band, Los Atletes. <laughs> I'm Lizzie Wade, I'm a reporter with Science Magazine. I am Anina Bennett, Paul's long-suffering and loving wife, editor, and camera person. <laughs> <laughs>